Now to our commitment 2022 election coverage. This morning, Allegheny County elections officials started reviewing the provisional ballots from the primary election. The county finished counting in person votes Friday afternoon and now today they'll go through more than 1900 provisional ballots that were cast at polling places on election day to determine whether they should count. They'll also examine 279 mail in ballots that were either not signed, not dated or both. Representatives from any of the candidates will be able to observe the counting process and challenge any counting decisions. Meanwhile, there is a court battle brewing in the Republican race for U.S. Senate with many provisional and mail-in ballots still not counted. The race between Dr. Mehmet Oz and Dave McCormick still too close to call at this time. Mehmet Oz has a lead of more than 1,000 votes, but that margin could trigger a recount once all the votes are counted. Both sides are arguing whether undated mail-in ballots can legally be counted. In a ruling on Friday, an appeals judge ruled that undated mail-in ballots in a different race should be counted. After that ruling, the uh, McCormick campaign is now pushing for undated mail-in ballots in the Senate race to be counted as well. But the Oz campaign says differently, writing in part, Dr. Mehmet Oz continues to respectfully allow Pennsylvania's vote counting process to take place and puts faith in the Republican voters who we believe have chosen him as their nominee. That is why our campaign will oppose the McCormick legal team's request that election boards ignore both Pennsylvania Supreme Court and state election law and accept legally rejected ballots.